you know, it's been a long time coming. We've worked hard. Obviously, we we fight top fighters of the top fighters of fighters and keep risking um the the position we was in. And um even even when it was mandatory, the fight didn't happen. We had to actually go for a legal process to get Tyson Fury to fight us, you know, after saying that he would fight us when he beat Wilder and when he become champion, saying there's been multiple times and Tyson Fury was meant to fight. He said he'd fight me and then for some reason when he got in a position he didn't fight me. So unfortunately we had to push a legal angle and we, we finally got her to fight me. And so now here we are. We train hard, you know, under no illusion. Um, well, I'm up against, obviously, I'm up against a big guy in a hard fight, obviously, and defeat world champion. But, you know, I feel good. I feel, and I, I, I believe that I will, will go in and I'll beat him. You know I mean? I'm very confident in beating him. So, you know, and it would be good to shut shut the world and a few people up, man. It'd be good. And I don't care. I've been kind out my whole life, man. So it, it, this ain't, you know, not because I'm the one that speak about my life story and my upbringing and speak about all this mental health stuff and give it and going about all of this stuff. But I've been kind of my whole life. But so this ain't nothing new to me. You know, I've been kind of by people close to me, you know, family members and friends. So to me, you know, teachers at school and, and neighbors and stuff. So to me, some guy on the internet or some journalist talking smack about me or saying, it doesn't mean nothing to me. This is nothing. To me. This, is, this is not new territory to me. You all know my life story and what I've been from where I come from. So this is nothing to me. This is a business. It's a business. It's not the Tyson Fury show. Everybody saying, oh, Tyson Fury, this, Tyson Fury. If Tyson Fury was a big star, he never sold out any of the fight with Deontay Wilder. You know that. That's a fact. The fight was never sold out. So this is not the Tyson Fury show. This show sold out because me and Tyson Fury. It's not just a Tyson... Tyson Fury, had, he fought Wilder. Wilder's the biggest superstar than me. None of the fights was ever sold out. So let's be honest about it. It's not just the Tyson Fury show. It's the Tyson Fury and Dylan White show. Obviously, at the end of the day, so it needs to be two. We're both in the, in the fight together. So some things need to be done correctly. You know, it's not just, oh, you, I don't dance to no one's tune. You know, I, I, I'm a warrior. I'm a survivor. So I don't dance to no one's tune. We can dance together, but it can't be one-way traffic. So there's things that need to start and things that need arranging and 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 getting done. So that's it. Obviously, I'm a disciplined guy. I've learned to be disciplined over the years and, and be disciplined. So, okay, you want me to work, you want me to do things? Cool. I'm up for that. I'm a professional. I've had six, seven pay-per-view show and I've worked hard on all of them. And I've always looked up on my opponents and dealt with them correctly. So when these guys is trying to mug me off and trying to treat me like it's just a thousand Fury show, we got to, they got to get certain things correct. So once the things get got corrected or we're close to getting them corrected, then I'm a professional at the end of the day, so now I'm here. I am. I'm, I'm here and I'm ready, and, and I'm training is done, and I'm in good shape and ready to go. Mm. And sometimes signing a paper don't mean that's the be all and end all. You know this thing. Go boxing is you, you you make an agreement, you sign something to get the ball rolling, but there's still little underlying issues that need securing and sorting out. And then when people are trying to play games and trying to mess around, then you got to hold. You got to control what you can control, and what I could control is. My actions, not what Fury does, not what not what BT, Frank, ESPN do. I couldn't really control what I could control, so that's what I did. And that's the simple, that's the simple fact of the matter. You all know this goal. Boxing, you hear one side of the story because Tyson Fury likes to shout and say a lot of things and do a lot of things, and he's a big guy, loud guy. So people forget that, yo, it's, you know, it's very hard to clap with one hand. You see, you need two hands to clap. It mean everything to me, you know. I'm a guy... As a kid, no future, no education, no no family. You know, um, I'm a survivor. I, I'm a kid that's been in the streets. I've been in the streets since I was a child. You know, obviously, you know, everyone know my life. So I don't not want to go on about this and go on about that. For someone like me that's come from nothing, never had no sporting background, never had no backing, no support. You know, I I, I, I didn't even go to school. I didn't even do sports at school. So for me, someone like me to come from where I've come from, you know, and to be heavyweight champion of the world. And to me, that's true inspiration. That, that's real inspiration. Not someone who's come from a boxing family, someone who's been to the Olympics, someone who's been in the Olympic program, someone who's been, I was just, I was just a fuck. I was just a fuck on the street that could knock people out and then got in trouble. Then I decided to, okay, um, I can't afford to be going to jail, so I need to go and do something else. And then um, I got good day and I got better and better, you know, but I'm under no illusion. I don't, I don't go around saying, oh, I'm the greatest, I'm this, that, and the other. Listen, I know what I am, know what to bring. And I got another pain and frustration to take out on someone. And, and it looks like it's going to be Tyson Fury. So let's go. Listen, I'm a professional. I work and do my commitments and do what I need to do. Like I say, if things get done, 
there's still things outstanding, things get done, then I show up and I work. That's that's what I've always done. You know, I'm not, you know, I'm not a I'm not bullshit. I do what I need to do. That's it. Simple as that. I'm 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 the simplest guy, most straightforward guy you ever meet. That's me, man. Shit get done. I'll, I'll be there. Fury, you know, he says he's an honest man, he's a straightforward man, and he's he's this and he's that. Ask that's in Fury, you know. Just like the same way we're still waiting to find out where seven what charity seven million pounds went to that he gave after the wild fight. We're still waiting to find out. He says a nice man, so I'll ask him and see what he answers. For me, I grew up in London. You know my life story and growing up around London, what I got up to when I was younger. So I need to get out of London and get somewhere where I can focus on the boxing and not be distracted and potentially be roped back into things and stuff like that. So, you know, we, me and my team, we decided to pick Portugal because it's not too far away, not too far away from my kids and family and stuff like that. And... It's perfect, you know, I train, it's warm, I can keep my head down and I saw that training comes being good. We've had some good guys in for sparring, man, you know, um, we've had some good guys in sparring that we keep keeping my toes, but it's good, you know, that's like, you know, I always try and bring young, hungry, undefeated guys to camp if I can because them guys, young, hungry, undefeated guys don't care. They don't, they don't care who you are or what, they, they believe in themselves, they got a lot of energy, so they press you and they give you that work. They don't think, they're not like, Old guys that's with a few losses and know to play the game and will take it. No, these guys will put work in. So, you know, I try and do that so that, you know, these guys try to take my head off week in, week out, man. <laughs> We've gone through a lot of scenarios and planned a lot of things in in, in, in my head and stuff, but I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. The bill might go and I just start, I just start fucking having it in the first round and the bill might go <laughs> and, um, you know, it, it may be a bit trickier. I might be more tricky than he expected. Uh, it's one of the fights where I have to keep adapting and keep changing and keep adapting to my situation, my surrounding the ring. That's what I feel anyway. So we try and cover every basis. We worked on a lot of different things, a lot of different sparring partners, a lot of different styles. So so let's see, man. Early in my career, I got to places and just by just being tough and having punch power, then I realized that I need to change things. I need to get fit. I need to get stronger. I need to use my boxing more. I need to learn more. I need to work on my balance and other things. So they're all coming together. So I've improved a lot, but I don't know much. But I've improved a lot when I feel it in the spine and the training and the fights. And man, people forget I had seven amateur fights, only seven amateur fights. <laughs> so I'm still learning. So I'm still improving. I'm still pressing. So, you know, I'm still improving, man. So I, I don't know, man. I just try and just do... Better that better every camp, try and do better every camp. I try and, I stay in my I'm a guy that stay in my lane and just try and just gently increase the pace uh, as much as I can, man. And, but like I said, I'm used to being an underdog. I'm used to having um, you know, I'm used to climbing up hills and mountains and struggling. So for me, I just did what I knew to do was to just persist and keep pushing. That's all that's you know, it's it's a bit sad that that's one of the things I know to do best is to do that, but it pays off. It's unbelievable, man. You know, for me, you know, kids that come from where I come from and I was brought up, not don't make it a lot of the time, man. So it's like one in every few hundred thousand that, that make it to even to, to this country, being a professional. So for me to be here, for me, most people would think, oh, wow, you know what? Just being here is enough, but... You know, I mean, but I'm thinking about winning every championship and showing people that no matter what the situation is, don't matter what happened to you in life, just persist, believe in yourself, don't listen to no one else apart from people that bring positivity to your life and, and just keep pushing and keep grinding, man, because that's all I've done. You know, I'm not some great, I'm not this, I'm not, you know, I, I, I just grind. All I do is grind, man. I just grind and grind and grind and grind and grind. <laughs> man, we have, we have to see after Saturday night, man, I win then. We'll see. And I win then for me, you know, um, Taz View say him and the fans and the public say he's the best fight ever of all time. He's the new six foot nine Muhammad Ali and George Foreman and Mike Tyson combined together. So if I win that, then I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll let you guys decide where I stand, you know. And thanks for supporting me for all the years, ups and downs and stuff. And thank you guys for buying the tickets to support me and Tyson Fury. It means a lot to us. I know obviously been a really tough time with obviously um COVID and other things and a lot of change in the world and inflation and prices and all this crazy stuff going on. So I'm gonna say thank you guys, man, and um try and, and tune in and support. Like I said, it's not just a Tyson Fury Roadshow, it's a Tyson Fury and Dylan White Roadshow. 
I got a bunch of fans too, and he's got a bunch of fans. He talks like it's just him and his fans that sold out the whole Wembley. No, it's not. I have a massive support in Wembley also. So, so they say thank you, everybody, and thank you to his fans as well because without them, then this wouldn't have happened. Thank you to everyone that's involved, and and, and thank you guys. And I'm um, tuning in and watch because you know me, I, I come with maximum violence. You know, I try and always leave in the ring um, when I can, you know, and um. This is no different. This is no different from any of the fight of mine's where I, you know, I, I'm preparing for every everything possible, everything possible to do. I'm preparing for it. I'm mentally, I'm ready for it. Sorry, I didn't get round to some of you guys. Thank you very much. Ciao.